In this video, I'm going to give you a quick run through of how quick and easy it is to prepare a mix session in Logic Pro using Forte Import. As you can see on my screen, I have Forte Import open and I've got my own template open as well. Now, as you can see here, I've got, uh, you know, a bunch of buses uh, and uh, a few effects on the stereo mix bus that I like to have. And this is the mixing template that I use for my own mixes. Now, I'm not going to get into the specifics of what the settings can do. We have a series of tutorials up on YouTube that you can take a look at if you want to dive deeper into the subject. Um, I'll just show you real quick how you can do this. Okay, so I have a country song that I want to mix. Say I've got these tracks from a client of mine. So what I can do is I can drag and drop the single tracks or I can drag and drop the entire folder. And I can already see that my tracks are already color coded and these colors are based on my own uh, preferential settings that I've got in here, as you can see, as the routing destination. Now, these routing destinations are read off of my template because I've already told Forza Import to do so. Okay, so everything looks good here. Of course, if I want to modify something here, I can go ahead and modify this base DI, for example. Now, let's say, for example, that I have a category that is not quite right. I can still go in and change it, okay? So right now, everything looks great here. So I'll go ahead and make sure that the routing outputs are also correct. All right, so acoustic guitars, acoustic guitar, keys, strings, box, everything looks good. In my settings, I also wanna make sure that strip silence and stereo to mono conversion are activated. Now, what Strip Silence does is pretty self-explanatory. I can refine my settings here. I like to uh, roll with the default settings. All right, so I confirm and I'll click Import. And right now, I'm not touching my mouse. Um, I'm just, you know, relaxing and letting Forza Import do its thing for me. So it's gonna import all my tracks, it's gonna color code them, it's gonna route them, and it's gonna strip away the silence. And as you can see, it's a very fast process. Now it's done and it's asking me if I want to start a new session, maybe I want to prepare a new session, or I want to keep working in Untitled Session because it reads the title off of the real session's title. So I'll hit Keep Working in Untitled. I can close this down and let me show you. This has done everything I wanted. So for example, if I go down here, I can see that you know the electric guitar, went to bus number eight, which is my electric guitars bus, where I have like some minimal processing going on. I like to have you know, a compressor, a limiter. I can see that my lead vocal was correctly routed to bus number three, where I like to have a bit of compression. And that's basically it. As you can see, preparing for a mix in Logic Pro with Forza Import saves you a ton of time. 